Hey everyone, so the boy is back live on the camera once again. I feel like I haven't made a live video in pff, God knows how long. It's been a long ass time. Today, this is going to be the final video of the year because we are officially kicking off 2020 tomorrow and I thought that the video to close out the decade really should only be me enjoying a nice glass of Estes. So yeah, I legit found the recipe for an Estes drink on the internet, which I'm going to link down in the description below if you want to check it out. There will be a little video here, kind of montage of me actually making it. All right, engaging binging with Babish mode. Uh, for this cocktail, we're going to start off with about half an ounce of simple syrup. It's just 50-50 sugar and water. Next, we're going to add about a quarter of an ounce of lemon juice. And this I'm going completely off of my own mixed recipe, which I didn't have any of the ingredients, whatever. We're going to add some tangerine juice, if you can get this. This is a breakfast blend, which has multiple things, but it had tangerine in it. Next, of course, we're going to add tequila. Now, the recipe actually asks for pico, and I saw that the closest substitute is tequila. So we are going to add about two ounces. Uh, I noticed that that's a little bit less than I wanted, so I'll add more. I only have a little shot glass that's one and a half ounces on the bigger side. Next, we're going to add some amaretto. And this is where I screwed up a little bit. I added way too much. Uh, you only need like a two thirds of an ounce. And I added a little bit more. Uh, next up, we're going to add some cinnamon. Be very, very careful with this because this thing is strong. So you only want to add a little pinch. I used the tiniest spoon I have and I didn't even add all of it. And after that, you are going to add the ice cubes. You got to have ice in your cocktail. Then you're going to add the top and you are going to shake it like a motherfucker. Uh, pretend to be a bartender. If you're a guy pretending that's your wee wee and then, you know, just shake it. Uh, that's how you, that's how you make a cocktail. Uh, usually, actually I do make cocktails fairly often. Uh, it's kind of a fun hobby. Uh, tipsy bartender is what got me into it. Uh, damn, that's a channel I haven't watched in ages. All right. To base this, uh, you're going to need like a strong spirit, uh, at the bottom of the glass. The recipe calls for rum. Uh, 151. I only had Tatra tea, which is like a Slovakian tea liquor, and it's like 52 proof, so it's hella strong. I added that you're supposed to light this cocktail on fire. I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to burn down my house. But then you add your Estes elixir, and because of the extra amaretto, this turned out way too big. Uh, it filled up right to the brim. Yeah, also because of the amaretto, the color is not exactly right, but it kind of looks like Estes, and I was happy with the results. So yeah, drink up. If I'm going to be 100% honest, I didn't have like any of the ingredients you actually need for this cocktail. I basically had to substitute everything, but you will hear the narration of when I'm making it anyways. It's pretty good. I gotta admit, it's pretty good. I definitely need to tweak the recipe a little bit because... My hand ran away a little bit, especially with the amaretto, so it's a little bit sweeter than I expected. But for this video, aside from me enjoying said Estus, which I'm leaving there, you know, just to space out the enjoyment. Actually, just kidding, let's drink more. We are going to talk about this year for the channel and this decade during cocktail time, as Sandra Lee said. To be honest, I didn't put as much vodka in it as she did into that fucking drink that she made that became basically a meme. But anyways, for the channel, I gotta say that 2019 has been a very enjoyable year for me on the channel. Uh, this streaming setup, which I switched to, God, when did I switch to it? I've been doing the almost exclusively streaming stuff for quite a while now. I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually having a lot more fun with this format currently than making uh, episodic content every day even though I've started to move back into some episodic content with certain games because you know sometimes it just depends on the game some games uh, benefit more from the episodic content plus with the way my schedule is with full-time jobs and traveling and all that you know I don't always have time to stream and I know especially the last 
I don't know, two months have not been the most consistent with streaming, which I'm not the happiest about, I'm going to be honest with you, but you know, it's just kind of how it worked out. But that's the thing about not doing this as a full-time job, you gotta make some compromises, but you guys seem to be understanding, I mean, a lot of you work, a lot of you go to school as well, so you know what it's like not to always have time to, you know, constantly be on a streaming schedule. Hopefully from January things are going to be a lot calmer. I can finish the Dark Souls 3 stream playthrough. Uh, I can finish Hollow Knight and I can continue. I actually have a lot of ideas for 2020 uh, in terms of videos that I will be doing. So it should be a good year, both in terms of streaming, I'm going to be doing some things and both in terms of pre-recorded videos, there will be a couple of series that I want to do. And I really am committed and I'm going to be trying to be very, very consistent uh, uploading next year. In terms of new video formats, really one thing I'm going to try to do next year, and this is definitely something I'm pushing for. In January, I'm really going to be committed to making hashtag January videos on Instagram. This is basically like a little idea to post a little musical idea slash montage slash little video every day for Instagram. I probably won't do every day. I wanted to do it last year as well and I just got sidetracked and made like five out of 31 you're supposed to do. So this year I'm really committed. So if you want to see that, uh, make sure to follow my Instagram, which I will link in the description below. Uh, but I will be making that throughout January. And what I really want to do is put more of my like musical stuff on the channel as well. Maybe like compile stuff into little montage videos or do some longer musical videos every once in a while, which I've done before. But really next year I'm like committed to actually uh, doing more with music because, you know, I do a lot of stuff with music. Uh, I make a lot of like ideas and stuff like that for beats and I never end up posting them anywhere. So sometimes I never even end up finishing them. So I'm definitely committed to doing that more uh, from next year. So I have a lot of ideas. Hopefully you guys stick with me throughout 2020 as well. I know some of you guys have been around for ages and you know, this decade that we're closing off did start my channel. So Overall, I gotta say a huge thank you for everyone who has ever watched me, who's ever commented, who's ever subscribed. Really appreciate every view, every comment. I feel like we've built up a pretty good community here. And really, again, just thank you for watching my streams, liking my videos, watching my videos. To quote some other YouTubers, I'm proud of you. I appreciate you. And yeah, if you are legal, of legal age, and you can get these drinks, uh, make an Estus and enjoy an Estus for the new year because I'm certainly doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Again, see you in 2020. And this channel is going to be, without being a cheesy asshole, uh, stronger than ever. So yeah, see you guys there. Peace out and goodbye.